All right, we are starting. So uh, here we are back in the God Breaking, and we're in the inter um, interim in the uh, the time between major adventures, I guess you could call it. The um, for for the last month or so, you've been playing your alternate characters, Max, Gawain, Zelona, and Brawl. And those characters just now managed to get back from this pocket plane called Gondolandia that they had been teleported to. And hijinks ensued, you guys. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> where do we start? Uh, how you made, made your way back to this plane. You took a, um, you made a, um, a very kind magical dragon do some, some horrible things uh, to, to get you to this to get you out of that plane. Um, you rolled extremely lucky and returned to Elysium and brought with you a whole bunch of, when I say a whole bunch, I mean like, I think I said 30 or 40 um, warrior Amazonian women who, who ride tigers and uh, a little gnome named Wilton who's a professional pie plucker. And in the process, as you returned to this plane of Elysium, um, you came across the um, the gatekeeper, the guardian, and the guardian god of this plane, who you guys know as uh, Achelia. Yes, yes, uh, Renly, former professional pie plucker. And um, she has agreed to allow all these um, these refugees to, to have a place in her land. And that, she, and she she said that she wouldn't kick out Max, Zelona, Gawain, and Brawl either. You guys are, are welcome to stay here for. Um, she is not. Uh, yeah, you guys are not banished, even though you fled. She wasn't. She wasn't actually going to do anything to hurt you guys. So those guys are on the plane. Um, right now we're we're cutting back to Deimos, um, Renly, Adis, and Elwin. Even though Elwin is not here, you guys arrived on this plane. Um, we'll call it. Let me get my timeline straight here. Hold on a second. You guys, you guys spent a little bit more time on Shehekim, so you just are arriving on this plane now. Okay, you're back in Elysium. You you left Shehekim. You're bringing with you Tempest and Annabelle Annabelle Jane. What the hell was her name? Annabelle Jane Louisa May Shirley Joe. I think those are the only, you the only people you have with you. So kind. All right. I've so, missed, um, I've missed the slow talkers. Yeah, they're great. So, uh, you guys, you guys have been through a, a long time. You're, you're recovered. You guys don't have any. Let me make sure you don't have any. Um, remaining weaknesses or oop. give you back all your spell slots and everything there okay you guys um, come back to Elysium and, and the the conditions that you left Shehakim um, were were fine they were there was there was nothing um, crazy going on it was more like a, a cathartic time of rest you spent af after the horse and rider disappeared you guys spent in your in your terms probably five or six days settling down, making sure that the the, the local sloth folk and the and the angels had everything in order, recovering yourselves, helping them clean up, um, saying your goodbyes, enjoying your time together there, and doing things on the plane that um, and, and and talking with Mistra. I'm um, doing things on the on the plane that you couldn't really do anywhere. Um, Mistra is just learning, beginning to learn about her, her domain, her dominion uh, as a god of what is. And and you guys are helping her her kind of piece that all together and figure out what it is. And and, and she's still not sure. And you guys are are you have limited understandings of what it goes into into a god's domain, right? Um, but you were helping as well as you could. 
So you still, you guys still don't have a good grasp of it, but um, she needed company, moral support, uh, more than anything else. So um, finally, time was up. You decided to to head back down through the different planes here. So curiosity, shit, since we totally like at its core changed that entire plane, shouldn't it get a new name? Um, that would be a, that would be a mystery decision on what to call it. And it would be, yeah, that'd be a mystery decision. It's not terribly high on her list of things to do right now, though. <laughs> um, so as you guys left Shehakim, you, you teleport back through the plains. You did not stop in Solaris or Lunaria. You just zapped through their portals. Um, and you, you grab maybe faint snippets of awareness as you pass through, you know, you're in each plane for a few seconds, um, before you jump to the portal, the next portal down. But, so, so you don't really know much, um, of what's going on in those planes. Nothing major seem, uh, like, hits you, it's not like one of the planes blew up or anything like that, or, or was completely, completely different. So you, you, you go through Solaris... Lunaria, and you're back now down to Elysium. Okay? So, you guys teleport in, and as you arrive, it takes it takes just a, a little bit of time, a few seconds, and Akelia appears before you. All right? She she arrives and she seems a bit flustered. You can see a, a few hairs are out of place, and she's got um, a, a bit of a, a, a scowl across her face, and she's 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 kind of she's breathing a little bit um, heavy. Hey, man, it's what and you she, and, this time. Yeah, you didn't do anything. We just get here. I can't blame Demos. I I have my black you know blinder with like the the sunglasses. I had satellites on make a while back, and I gave her the peace sign. I'm got, I'm like, chill. How's it going? We saved another plane. <laughs> was, she, she was she was there. She helped. She she was only there for the time where it it took to to banish um the horse and and rider. But then she she and the rest of the gods disconnected. I nod to her and I look at everyone else. I'm like, tea party. Tea party, tea party. You get ready. Let's have a tea party. Yeah. But first, Deimos has to explain to us what he did to upset Akelia. Well, I mean, she, means... she only shows up like this, just like upset when you've done something to um, disappoint her, Deimos. That's true. Akelia, I didn't mean to bring this 80s guy in front of you again. I think... <laughs> Look at him. This is my fault, it's not. It's not your fault. I mean,. He's a grown man. He still wears a mask. It's Adis. I don't want to ruin this for you, my friend. It's not Halloween. Demos, roll, roll, roll a charisma check. Oh, very good. Me or him? Um, Akelia, Akelia, um, as as she hears you talk, and 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 being goof, uh, you know, just just um, talking about Adis that way, she pauses and she. You see her kind of sigh a little bit, and she closes her eyes, and a smile comes back to her face, and she laughs a little bit. She goes, <laughs> "Oh, Uncle, you've you always knew how to to snap me out of of one of my moods. Welcome back. I'm, I I apologize for the delay, and for um because it had taken a little bit longer as you zap through the planes on your way down. Um, each each relevant god." in their plane needs to approve passing through their plane. They, they, the gates don't just always stay open. Akelia's took a little bit. It took, you know, it took, it took about, like, you know, like five minutes for her to approve your, your entrance into the plane. <laughs> she says, I, I apologize for the delay. I was pr uh, in, indisposed at the moment. Um, we we re received some new refugees here, and there have been, this has been a bit of trouble. Some troublemakers have returned. So I was trying to deal with it in the most gracious way that I could. So, uh, again, my apologies. Are you all well? Do you, do 
you need us to handle somebody? Are you sure She's, you don't want to uh, party? Is somebody messing with She's, you? I beat their ass. Yeah. yeah, me and Deimos would totally <laughs> erase them from existence. She says, no, no, it's just that. Well, I you saw you him. This show... You hesitated. She says, the, the she whole story that behind it. Tell you, wink says, once, if you want me to blow something up. <laughs> I'm staring directly at her face. <laughs> yes. Well, her, okay, she says. You all are much more experienced and wiser than I. So tell me, please. She says. When you're dealing with young folk, right? And they, they make stupid choices. Mm -hmm. And they get into trysts and begin to fight with each other. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, they hate each other and they one goes off to become to take her on a plane as a goddess of who knows what, um, jumping in way over her head, and the other one flies down to some other world, um, jumping off the edge of Elysium and and goes and as far as I can tell, destroys a whole plane <laughs> and comes back comes back mind you, returns to my plane. I don't know how. I don't know how he managed to arrive without my permission. Um, I think there's a loophole or a spot I haven't checked somewhere in this world where stuff is getting in and getting out. But arrived back on this plane with 40 naked women and a small oh. child. Can you believe it? I mean, 40 women? I mean, you gotta have some children if you have that many naked women. That seems kind of the normal part. No, the and the things oh, my, he was my teaching... Question the things they... My question's how there's only one child. Yeah. No, no, as far as I can tell, he was none of their children. Um, the, but but the things he was teaching this child to do, it was it <gasps> oh, was. Oh no, that's not good. Who do we need to kill? No. <laughs> how would you handle a situation like that? So give me the details. Um, and what did he do? He didn't do this to you, did he? Wait, is he... She pauses for a second. She goes, no, 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 no. Oh, if anything, okay. he's just uh, been a, well, been a she, nuisance. She just said. It'd be a shame if you see Damo put his Glock back he in did his pocket. Technically, <laughs> he did technically violate her, Damos. He came into her plane without her consent. That's a violation. I mean, he should die. I mean, I mean, you you put up some good arguments, but the way you you point across, it makes it seem like I just don't want to do it. There was. I, I understand what you're saying, but it's, it's, it's like, it's like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm confused. What exactly did they, did they do to the child? Guys, it's easy. We have to find this person. A Kelly is too nice. And apparently, we have to, first off, tie up Erwin. Alright? A bunch of naked women. <laughs> we tie up Erwin. <laughs> first off, and then, we go on a quest. To find these people or things, and then I was gonna probably punch him. I didn't think past that part. She Who says, are these people? She says, she says, she says, you know, she says, she's nodding her head and she and she thinks for a second. She says, that that truly is wisdom. I, th I think, I think you're right. Yes, yes, okay. So. Here's what I think we should do. I've, I've got a plan. Yes. Um, first, Wait, Satellizer the has been at... What? What did you say? Why did they run away from you in the beginning? What did, she, what she, thing she, she... did they do to, to make you so angry? You so never hit it. I'm thinking to me. I'm just angry that he... He bothered uh, Mistra. Mistra's like a little sister to me. And mm. I caught them in yeah. in a rather passionate embrace. What did um, you say? Uh, oh my he, god. He had snuck his hand up her shirt. Oh. Okay, Adis, you heard it. This is time for exterminatus. We have to destroy everything that this thing ever holds dear. I'm already weaving a spell right now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's gonna fucking die. This unconsensual nope. act 
We'll no. never get past she, Deimos. He, he, he says, no, 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 no. She says, it's... The, it's just, just screaming in power, you know? It's what bothers me. It's just, that would have truly bothered me. Uh, this, slightly less so, because it was consensual. But... Uh, you, so wait, you said he, snuck a hand up a shirt. That's not yeah. consensual. Yes. Yo, that foolhardy son of a we bitch. Have, we have, we have more. different ideas of what consensual is. She says, she says, you'll have to talk to Mischa if you want details on that. Um, I think I'll just leave it be unless she wants to talk about it because she probably wouldn't tell me anyway because I'd probably kill this person. <laughs> it sounds totally reasonable, but I would never do such a thing like kill him. But Mr. on his side note, on this very detailed be, map right would... here, could you point exactly where he is? <laughs> or it is, it, allegedly. She says, I sent them away to gather something for me. Yes. Um, it was a, it was one item on a list, and she holds out this list. She says, Satellizer asked me to, to if you were to arrive, to give this list to you of things she needs. And she hands you a list. I okay. walk away. I chose one of them and sent Max and his rather smelly party off to go retrieve one of them. I hope it will wait, occupy wait, them for a long wait, time. Wait, wait. Those, those guys are pretty is, cool. Wait, it's that group of Dude, that people? group's pretty sweet. Did that group get in contact with the bad group? We're gonna kill them all. They destroyed a plane, Deimos. I don't think they did. Yeah, that's like mass murder on us. How did they destroy a plane? Why don't we have them with us? Do you know how much help they could be if they could just take I know, we plane? just have to take them to, like, hell and everything works yeah, out. That'd be super cool. Can we send them to hell? <laughs> Can you put them in hell? She says, Let's destroy that, some planes. That might Wait, be... Wait, we got that key! We got that key! Yep, we could send destroy them the whole house. We could send them straight to Asmodeus. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> like we're made of pure IQ points. We're really hyper oh, no, intelligent. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is out of character. This is an amazing idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Beth Murtry got alter egos. It's fabulous. What are you joking about? <laughs> They're pretty cool. They have a lot of people. They got a cripple. They got a cool guy who's really not that cool. They have a cloud that can talk, but it smells really bad. And there was another girl who, she didn't like you guys, but she was nice to me. So she's okay in my book. I think she, I think she had a crush on you, but yeah, she oh. hated all of us. Oh yeah. Is that your fault? She wouldn't even have tea. It, well, she wouldn't have tea? Yeah, I'm surprised Demos didn't bone her when she asked him to. No worries. No, I'm good. Demos could do a lot better. Demos has done got... a lot better, but now he's gone like cold turkey. I mean, he, oh, now he Demos, by the way, is not here. Stop saying the word Demos. We're in Elysium, right? Oh, Elysium. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Demos has his glasses and nose on. I'm not Demos anymore. I'm Elmos. <laughs> Right, because what's your face is here? Would you like Ooh. me to disguise? You? Would you like me to disguise you, Demos? Already, who disguised me? So look at me, I'm yeah. Elmos. I so have an, I have a top hat and a monocle on and a mustache. <laughs> so, so you guys look around. Elwin, Elwin is not here, right? El, Elwin, um, he came to the plane. He came back to the plane with you, right? But he, he's, he's chosen to to delay his conversation and meeting Akelia. So as soon as he arrives, he knew Akelia was coming, so he excused himself. I imprisoned him and so that he won't uh, go assault the Amazons. <laughs> he and Akelia have okay. some unfinished business to talk about. Uh, the condition to the imprisonment is that when he's ready to uh, to talk to Akelia, the imprisonment will release him. <laughs> no, you can. On imprisonment, you can. one of them, you can actually set a condition for it to be released. Akelia, what can we do? Uh, we just got here... And I'll be honest, I'm like, we don't know what to do. She Isn't says, the list complicated items, Midas? Um, she says, here, yeah, she says, go talk to Satellizer, ask her about this list, and um, see if she has any more, any more information for you. Um, I'm happy to help you around our plane and to exit and leave. You can go back to the, to, to, uh, Tandesh if you wish, the material realm. Um, or you can go up to any of the, uh, the other planes. Just, just mention it to me, and I'll make sure that you have access to the gates. I am rather busy, 
the the mermaids are moody, <laughs> she says, for lack of a better word. It so is that time of the cycle. <laughs> she says it always seems to be that time of the cycle. Oh. I had mushrooms for that. She says, we Really now? Mm -hmm. We could move that big uh, thing that's killing the pain above us down here, then you could get rid of them. I'm just joking, that'd be a bad idea. She says, I rather like my pain. In it? <laughs> what if we stuck the horse inside of that thing? It might get stuck. She says, you... It's a big just... turd in a fucking big toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just keep working on those on those ideas, Deimos. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. Who's on this list? Okay. So, on, on the list, you, here, I'll... I'll put it in chat for you. Okay, so the, the list says... Number one, deal bill. Just go back to the mortal plane, get stuff. Mm -hmm. Weapons, ambergris, eye demons, bone fragment, and a shadows. Okay, cool. Shadow. I put the quest markers at each one of them to show us where it's at. Uh, well, I could probably summon a shadow. Um, we probably have you have a bone fragment from a demon, um, a high demon, uh, Deimos. You're asking, um, you, you said some can... great stuff. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, what is you this? It's just cold. From, None of this makes yeah, sense. You kept, you kept a bone from a demon that we killed. Yeah, I, I kept mean, a lot of shit, but then I burnt it all to get that the goblin guy, yeah, dude. He burned it. <laughs> he burned it, it all. Burnt that oh, shit out, right. Fucking nuke right. that fucker. Okay, he was like, throw that in the trash bag. <laughs> him Oh, um, did, 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 we, did we ever say what happened to him? Yeah, he's on this. He's with, um, he's at, uh, he's at Mel Celestine with Satellite or someone. Okay, so he, yeah, he came down to this plane also. Yeah. Okay. All right, so he says, so Kelly, so Kelly says, um, she also mentions like, oh, and also one more thing. She says, that, that goblin god that you sent down here? Oh, no. He's, he seems well to be behaved. not, he is rather polite, not, not quite, um, all there in the head. He, uh, he keeps talking to this, this skull and crying. No. Uh, she says, I, I think that, uh, before he takes on any duties as a divinity, he'll need some, some mental counsel. Therapy. We don't yes. really do that. Well, um, she adds, she, she, well, I, she takes, she, she, um, she, she scribes onto, the, she waves her hand, and you can see scrawled out onto the list another item at the bottom. I mean, I can dope him up if you like. I have the mushroom for that. I mean, a psychedelic trip is usually effective. She adds that to the bottom of the list. It's easy. Demos is the most charismatic person ever. I could easily become a great therapist for a depressed goblin. You did bring him back, so it's kinda in your court, yeah. It's yes. yours. Yes. I am the face of this party as the most charismatic and well spoken person. I think the duty should fall to me. Unless we find someone better, which is probably impossible. Oh no, the duty is totally falling on you. What, what status, what stat are we basing this off of? Charisma. <laughs> uh, I think I, I look at you in the face, and I look at your muscles. I see no charisma in you. <laughs> you only have a, uh, you only have a plus five more to your bonus than I do. In charisma? And I have a, I have and I have a I have a plus thirteen more bonus in intelligence than you do. Oh wait. Yeah. You're saying weird things. <laughs> oh, don't forget to fix your intelligence, Damos, because he said we didn't have any more debilitating. If you haven't fixed it yet. Yeah, I think I've always yeah. had sixty I th intelligence. I think it's right. 
Yeah, it's about right yeah. now. Okay. All right, so what do you guys want to do? Achelia says she needs to go comfort some, uh, help out help out some moody mermaids. Should we go do I know what Emraldine is? Emraldine, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Renly, were you not here for that? I've forgotten it already. <laughs> mm, I, Renly might not have been here for that for that um, that story arc. Do you remember what it, what it was, Demos? Isn't that the shit from uh, uh, the dwarf area? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a magical item? Or no, is it, like it, abs a it absorbs magic. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Are these those golems that were made of emeraldine that I was not there for and they absorbed all magic and you couldn't do magic on them? Like, the whole, like, dwarfen cities and everything had it all around, so, like, magic just kind of got absorbed. Oh, unless my Unless you, like, God. overloaded it. That's terrible. Let's do that. I'll be useless and I'll just drink tea. <laughs> yeah, let's go find that. Yeah, let's head to dwarf, dwarf land. Or I could that? just try to make it. Okay. What are you gonna do? I could just try to make. I could just try to make it since it's not a magic item. It's... Uh, you're not gonna be able to make I'm it. Making something that is anti-magic with magic. That sounds legit. <laughs> yeah, it does. Hey, Actually, it doesn't make it. It makes it appear. But how can you yeah, appear if you? That's not magic? gonna work. <laughs> or no, it does. It actually. Does I mean, the summoning magic won't it work because it'll negate. No, it, it. does. Create. You can give it a no, try. It Let's see how it works. It actually you know creates it. it you know what? Damus is going to create some with his hands when I rip it off or something. <laughs> oh, I could bring a crack Demos in cast here. Rip and pull. Oh, that's always worked. Yeah, do it. But, uh... No, I could... I don't think I've ever been to the dwarven area. Can we ask a Kelly? Oh, who's... Oh, Ellen is can our we taxi cab directions? Service? I can ask directions. I pat you on the shin. I, uh... Um... I mean... We've been to this the little dwarven place. I'm assuming Elwyn could be our uh, teleport guide since he's not here. El Elwyn is is um he decides he says he says you guys go ahead. I'm gonna hang out here with Akelia for a little bit. Um, she and I need to have a conversation. I think I, have I been? I think I've been to the dwarven area, haven't I? Midas for uh, no, 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 no. Mm, maybe I don't know. If you did, uh, it was very like short. Let's go to the luminary right. beacon so we can look down and then go there. Okay. I'm pretty sure. All right. I so. Land the teleport, but yeah, we can do that. Akeli says, "If you wish to go down to the plane below, or you wish to be brought back up here," she says, "Um, just just send me word, okay?" We need to go to the dwarven sea. Oh, hold on. We I know in a session before we established roughly what the time dilation is, so um. For every, like, you know, if we spend a day down there, how much time passes up here? Or the other way around, it's a day up here, it's a lot of time passing down there, right? So um, sometimes. Sometimes. It's 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 variable and depends on which plane you're on, and it actually, a lot of it depends on the activity you're doing. Timey wimey. Good. So, yeah, you're gonna, when you when you get there, you'll have to find out. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> well, I can't if he says the Dwarven City is gonna be super cool, I'm gonna go steal some rocks. She says, okay, okay, uh, you wish to go down to where? Uh, Cragland? Yes. Also, can you tell us where the nearest, uh, high demon is around that area? And, she says, uh, I... Could summon one. I could summon one. I want to track her, like, take tra dragon balls. She says, okay, um, I don't things. have... Unfortunately, I don't have one of those for you. I'll summon one for you, uh, Damos, to be Wait. down. Well, we need to get some of this emodine. Right. Okay. So here's here's the map. Um, some of the countries have changed. The borders have changed and stuff. But roughly, this this is how it was when you knew it. The last time you were down there, um, some of the borders had shifted and stuff. But um, you guys haven't been there since after uh, Solaria. So, where do you want to go? I think I'm going to the capital in Craigland, right? Vordum? Vordum? Yeah, Vordum. Yeah, Vordum has all the, uh, that's where the, I'm assuming they had the most of that stuff, or at least had the best place of where we can get some. We only need five ounces, so. Yeah, Vordum was the, um, uh, was the, 
a dwarven city built into the into the mountainside. And it's also the place that the that um what was his name? Incamel, that Incamel and all his uh his red beasts destroyed, remember? Mm-hmm. It was a great session. It was it was a really good session <laughs> when we did that. <laughs> Basically, basically, um, Incamel, who was the hybrid Tarask, and one of the four generals, the four hands of of Asmodeus on the plane, um, he had walked in all of them in disguise because they were basically um, uh, what called shapeshifters. They're like um, in, uh, what was it? lycanthropes. So he um, he brought a bunch of refugees in from from like some elven. The, the elven land had been destroyed by the these were Tarasks, and they they snuck themselves in as as elven refugees into Vortum, uh, and the party was there, and they spent a whole most of a session talking with the old man um, before realizing that he was Incamel himself, and then he sh- he shifted right there in front of them, and they had to run away, and he because he was way too powerful, and he and he was destroying the city, and in the process um, the the minor dwarven god who was weakened at the time, Modrin, um, rose up to fight him, to fight Incamel, and was slain in the process. So Vortum and Modrin died there that day. So that was the last time that, that the party was really at Vortum. Which was a long time ago. That was... I wonder if they're rebuilding now, since it's been centuries, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> that was about 150 sessions ago. <laughs> since then, what you do know that since then, um, Eloise returned because she was royalty, um, so a, a, an offshoot a branch, like a cousin to the kingly line, but she was the only royal blood that was left, and she was also one of the leaders of her people. Because what happened was, um, the dwarves here in Vortum, um, evacuated, and the, the part, and they, they traveled by foot, um, but the party also helped them. They moved all the way down to Hasselin, right? The, the remainder of the Dwarven party, a population, because all of Cragland was overrun by these, these were Tarasks. And Eloise helped nurture and, and rebuild the Dwarven civilization there. And they had a temporary city. And remember when you guys fought um, Gromesh and his his marked ones. Remember that? Mm-hmm. They um, your your final battle was in, in the the new dwarven little city here down in, near Hasselin. Um, but then you know you had the big thing, and you guys went down to hell, and we had the time skip, and you went to heaven. So now decades later, um, the dwarven people have returned to Cragland with Eloise, and last you heard, they're, they've been there for a few decades, and they've been trying to rebuild their homeland. Alright, okay. down we go! Okay, so you wish to go to Vortum. Achelia says, Very well. Um, I remember where it was. I can't promise any kind of accuracy right now. I don't have my eyes near, near my seeing stones to give you a precise, she says, um, a precise placement, so I bid you well. And she Holy she waves God. a hand. Yeah? Do you happen to know how um, what's his bucket, um, the dude who's married to a dragon, do you happen to know how he's doing? Because I forget his name. She says, and Terry's? Yeah, that dude. Um, weren't they... You told me, after they were wed, they went off to... What did she... She rubs her face for a second. She says, the Beast Lands, I think you said they went to, to make a new life for themselves, um, since he had lost all his power. Uh, Yeah, I have not heard. No, not at all. I'll send him a message. Although his... She says... She says, um... Shailin was... Uh, a very powerful dragon, elder dragon, so I'm sure she's capable of protecting them, even though Antares himself had lost all his capability. 
Oh, I'm sure. I was just okay. curious how they were doing. I'll send him a message and be like, what's up, dude? Demo says hi. Okay. You have um, a message, Bill? Sending. Okay, so you send it off, and um, it takes long. You have to see if. To pass the plans. Yeah, you'll have to see if there's a reply. All right. And down we go. Okay. So, she sends you down to. I'm just checking sending. What the. I think sending okay. is on the plane only, but we have our stones that we've jerry-rigged for. It's been um, across any or... distance and even to other planes of existence. But if the target is on a different plane than you, there's a 5% chance the message doesn't arrive. Ah, uh, yeah. that was the thing, yeah. Okay. So you don't hear any response. Stone, Not yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys um, go down to to the material realm, Tendesh. That's what this, this world is called. All right? You go down, down to Tendesh, and you set your foot on solid ground. And what you, didn't, you don't realize is that um, you guys have been in, in heaven, basically, for, for a long time now. And you've gotten used to, to what the, the atmosphere in heaven is like, what it feels like. Um, and, and even though things are solid and everything up there and, and, and very real, the material realm is called the material realm for a reason. You land and things just feel more, more grounded, uh, more, um, more gritty, if, 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 if that's a, a term that can, Heavier, that, that can help. Or, not, or not, well, I mean, it, it just feels home. It's like you're you're setting foot, you know, on, on it's like the, like gravity was slightly different, you know, like point nine, uh, ninety percent gravity up up there. When you land here, it's at hundred percent gravity, and even just that little shift, um, you settle down and it feels like home. Okay, you find yourself standing. Um, uh, the, the the sky is dark, right? Um, you look up, you see a few stars in the sky. Um, but you, but surprisingly few. Uh, the, the 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 night sky seems darker than it used to be. All around you, you see some hilltops, some some mountains off in the distance. Cragland is a fairly rocky, gravelly, um, uh, hardened type of terrain. Not a lot of not a lot of plant life or anything like that in the area. Are we there? Okay. Is this it? Uh, now that we're down here. <clears throat> Midas. I'm mm -hmm. going to shoot off a message to Boy King who banned Deimos' book and ask him how he's doing. I'm going to send a message to a homegirl that uh, me and Elwin brought back to life, the mage's wife, and ask how she and her old man are doing. And I'll send one to the Elven King who eventually decided to not be a dick to us anymore and ask him how they're doing. Okay, so you're sending a message to uh, Tyrell Haas. Um, you said to Ava uh, and the, to Lothrelian. The, the big powerful mage dude that was like yeah. went crazy. Yeah, his wife that we brought back to life. Yeah, Ava. Ava, okay. Yeah, and Lothrelian. Yeah, the okay. boy came right, so from you... the place down south of Hazel. Ha 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 Hassel. Hasselin, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, you send those messages off, All right? Um, you hear word back um, after a moment from a couple of them. So as I'm right, as I'm working on that, what do you guys? What are the rest of you guys doing? What's the biggest thing around here? The biggest thing? Um, well, you like, see a fair more, like a city there. A city? No. You see, okay, so so looking around, you're in the place where Vortum used to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I start fly. Fl uh, sorry, when I say fly, I can't fly. But so, I start. Oh, sorry. 
Did so this die? is what where Vortum. This is what Vortum used to be, right? So um, you you guys are somewhere on this hill, this overlook right here, right? Um, but all the structures are gone, and instead there's this big like this whole mountain side right here has basically been torn away. It's this huge crumbled gash and uh, you know and ruins and everything like this whole thing just got cr crumpled down to the ground. Mm. Like a big giant hand just like swatted it into the ground, kind of. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go uh, jump in the air with my muscles. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna and keep going. And when he does that, I cast fly on him. Oh, I can already fly. Oh, you can. Well, I mean, no. Oh, I, but thought, I, can, I thought you said I can, you could. I can't. You can fly. I can flex you, really hard. Can no, I can you flex can really hard. My muscles. I'm pretty bend sure you can fly. No, my muscles bend space and time, so I can go up high. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, oh so you're just you're you're just tearing through you're just like you you reach out and tear open space and time and pull yourself <laughs> through pretty a wormhole just, that puts I, you like yeah i pretty much up push, in the air. push the land farther down so i can go farther up oh yeah i remember that episode yeah, yeah uh, what was going on idea. in that fight where you <laughs> you were doing it with someone else who were you with when you were punching the ground away dude i don't even know at this point damus's Dam lats fight. are are so big and he just flexes them that, so they like wings. Yeah, but uh, so I go real quickly. No, you remember <laughs> you were, you, oh no, oh that brings. I'm sorry, Damos. That that yeah, I remember who it was. It was Bruce, I think. Yeah, so <laughs> I like that ability. Oh was no, no, I had it way before Bruce. I had it before that uh, thing. I got it now. Yeah, but you guys did that like tandem thing. Oh no, that was uh, um shoot uh blue oh, purple not... purple ballless purple dude. Branthor, Branthor, yeah. Oh, that was with Branthor. Oh, that was okay. with Branthor, yeah. But yeah, I'm just mainly gonna go up really high so I can find, uh, like you know, if you go pretty high up in the sky, you can you can pretty much see it really far and uh, find out where people are. Okay. At. All right. So you start flying up uh, up in the air, Renly. What are you doing? I'm going to commune with nature to see what's up with nature around the area, and if there's a big blank spot because they're like, no, we don't speak with magic. Go away. Like you know, Emeraldine does. <laughs> Okay. Oh, by the way, did so, the sending spells they worked, right? They're like when I cast them, they worked. So we're not near any of that one more shit. Um, you you are not receiving responses. No, but did the spell actually go off? Is what I mean. Because you guys said that ore absorbs magic, so you can't cast around it. Well, your spell still goes off; it just absorbs it. Yeah. So you can't really tell. Oh shit! All right, I'm gonna shoot a fire bolt just up in the sky and okay. see if it works. All right. So you look up and you see Deimos is is up in the air and he's flapping his 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 arms really fast and his 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 he's flexing his lats and stuff like that and he manages actually to jump like about yay far, right? And then you see Deimos start going this uh, going like this. So he's up here. And he goes starts plummeting down towards the the bottom of the ravine. Oh no oh, no no no! Uh, I go I flex even harder. And flap even fucking harder. You defy gravity. <laughs> I look fucking gravity in the eye and I say, Not today, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. So, so, Adis and Renly, you hear Damo saying, Not today, motherfucker. And then you hear him impact the ground at the bottom of the... <laughs> <observing. laughs> okay. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I use my reaction? It may not work, but I have to spell for a reason. For what? Um, I will cast Feather Fall at him. It doesn't work. So it's Deimos... Magic. His flying doesn't work. Your magic doesn't work. So Deimos, I'm well, just gonna... Your flying's I, not I, magic. I, that's what I thought. That's why I wasn't worried about him. But then he it's started not. Falling. This is bullshit. I'm going BS right now. <laughs> magic doesn't... Deimos has zero magic powers. He just does Deimos things. So Deimos, you take 213 points of damage. Uh, it's half net, so I'm only going to take 107. <laughs> okay, um, uh, ran, uh, Adis, your firebolt, um, as you cast it, right, it extends from your fingers, um, about the length of an average male penis, and it fizzles out. Three centimeters? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, Renly, mm -hmm. um, you're sitting there, communing with nature, listening 
listening, listening, and you hear a voice. What are we listening for? Renly? What? The elements, the earth, the nature, the plants. She smiles really big. Oh. Plants. And see her smile and flutter her eyes a little bit as she's dreaming about different kinds of plants that she loves. <laughs> um, you don't hear anything, Renly. Okay, I think we're at the place because I'm hearing Diddly Squad. Oh, um, Deimos, are you okay? Yeah, Deimos crawls back up and he says, <laughs> I have a new thing I need to learn to do. I want to be stronger than gravity. You already are. I know. So we're, but so we're like stronger. up at the top and he fell all the way down, right? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's he's start, starting to climb up. Um, you hear him him talking and stuff down there. Um, but then Deimos, but then you hear um the guys up there, people up on top. You hear sounds of of um movement along the sides of the of the mountain. So like along here and along here. Oh, super good. Hey, look. Can I see anything? You see? I have really good eyesight. I have a 26 pets perception. Holy shit. Are you serious? Yeah, I have a pets perception of 26. <laughs> Nothing gets right, past me, motherfucker. So <laughs> Dude, I'm a oh, fucking... It's, I'm a, it's I'm a it's fucking wisdom, cleric. Right? Yeah. He just has a really high, high wisdom. Um, I don't know if I used this picture before, but let's say I haven't. And if I have, if, I, if this is an NBC that you guys have seen before, um, Deimos, you might you might notice the the striking similarities. Some of you might have met before. Have I used this before? Tell me if you've seen this before, Deimos. Yes. You have? Okay. I don't remember who she was. <laughs> it was she was a guard at the first city we oh. got to after we oh. got over the wall. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. But oh, you're sure. right. You're right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, so Zamos, you, down, memory. <laughs> you have you have a great memory, yeah. Cuz I, I I remember I only used it if I used it it was only for a brief part of a session. Okay. So Zamos, you see you hear a couple dwarves come out uh, down there at the bottom of the ravine. They they were lured by the um by the the impact of your body smashing like a like a like a, a meteor into the into the bottom of the ground, so you you left a, a huge indentation. The ground cracks in the in the in the granite and all that stuff. Dwarves come out of the rockwork, and this lady is near the front. She looks at you. She's holding her axe all along um, her her shoulders. Uh, on, on, on parts of her armor and um, embedded into the pommel and in the head of her axe are green stones. She says to you, Hi. Who the fuck are you? I need five ounces of your axe. She says, I'll give you five ounces of me axe right up your arse. Okay, thank you. I go over there and I take her axe. I appreciate the five ounces of your axe. You're, you're walking up. You just rip it. You just, you just pull it straight, straight from her hands. No, I just take the five ounces of it off. She, she says, back off, back the fuck off, no, yeah. I'm getting you, you said I could have the five ounces. She said, it. spread your ass, your ass cheeks and then I'll give it to you. No, you said, you spread your axe. I'm going to take five ounces. I can't tell with your dwarven accent exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah, but you, so you said, oh, Deimos, you could definitely have five ounces of my green stone. She, she waves her hand, she says, kill this fucker. No, 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 and no, 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 no. And then, uh, and you hear, you see, find, you see a bunch of dwarves from all around, um, holding crossbows and stuff like that. A few of them let loose, and, and they shoot you with crossbow bolts. All right, so I just walk past all the regular crossbow bolts. Come in, I really want to win this <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me roll. Let me roll. <laughs> no, you shouldn't even be able to hit me. I'm Demos. 
Uh, We're back in the motor plane, right? Yeah, so that's a yes. plus 10. What's, that misses. <laughs> what's, what's your AC? Wow. Uh, it's only 26. Dude, I have shit AC compared to everyone else now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have the highest AC in the group. No, okay, no, so I... the crossbow bolts yeah, all miss. Good. Okay, they glance off your off your armor, just like bouncing. One of them, one of them hits you in the shoulder and just bounces off your shoulder muscle. It's, I'm not even wearing your armor, guys. You suck at shooting. Oh, wait, Miss Squall Lady, let me tell you what happens. Hello, Squall. My name is She's... Demos. This is Renly. This one here is his name is Adis. Um, we have other people, but we're pretty much saving the heavens and other stuff. And I pull out the list. He could really use five ounces of that green stone. We had to she do says, stuff in your stupid little dwarven city years ago, apparently. And it still looks not great here. Uh, yes, we're pretty cool. Everyone likes us. And yes. She says to you, she says, Why did you call me by that name? Dwarf? Just, that was my grandmother's name. No, you're a dwarf. You're racist. Dwarf's racist. He I called me Squall. Squirrel, yes, that's exactly what I said. Who are you? Your, yes, your grandmother who definitely helped us in that city over yonder after we definitely did not break into your country. And then she was like, you guys are okay. I won't say anything. And then we beat a shit of, I mean, we did not beat up a lot of things and kill a Sigmund. Um, but we, uh, red creatures, fought them off, everyone's super cool. Oh, so you Dwarven guy is dead. Yeah, 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 I remember you. Are you Demos? Yes, yeah, Demos. I've heard stories about you ever since I was a wee lass. Yes, probably yes. great stories you're... about how strong I am. No, you're the ones, you're the ones who when you left our, when you fled our city, the Tarask destroyed Vortum, and she points over the huge pile of oh. rubble. <laughs> it's just an alleged story that is very true, yes, that's, very, that's exactly what happened. She says, and then you harbored our people mm -hmm. and allowed Queen Eloise to rebuild our nation and sent us back with all the resources you could so we could start our nation anew. Queen? Eloise became Wait, queen? When did, when did you do this, Demos? Well, you had to understand. Um, Demos is absorbing all the credit from the stories that people have misconstrued. <laughs> ah, I see. Yes. She said. <laughs> um, she yes, says, we did help your people out. Very good. And other they most should acquire a new ability called power uh, credit for things he didn't do. Yes. She says, are, well, I where, where, for stuff I don't do. She says, where, where's the rest of your friends? Elwyn mm. and, and Euphemia and Ashok okay, and Feldor. You said oh. Elwyn's currently hanging out with yes. 30 naked Amazons. No, Elwin's trying to court a god. Um, Euphemia. He's as, a god. As you see, Deimos just like poops his pants a little as he shows like, Ugh. Ugh. like throws up a little bit. She is a god now. God. Um. Euphemia. Yeah. yeah that Praised. One. No. Yeah, Praised be. Uh, she says. Bleh. What? What? Pray tell is she the I, goddess I, of? I'm gonna throw up. I, I haven't eaten enough. Today. God of the. God, god of the fucking the moon. Of? She's the fuck you moon, no. that's what she is. God is of the blighted I, I moon, would... she says. She points up the sky. No. Do you see a fucking moon up there? Yeah, there's she's no moon. not a good god. Wait, is, is there a moon? Uh, I just, no, there's no moon. To be a moon up there. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty no, she fucking She fucks off quite often because she says fuck you and then Molten Thieves off. That's is the there supposed moon. to be a moon, though? Yeah, yeah there's supposed to be a moon. Yep. Yeah, she's <laughs> not very good how long, at her I ask, I ask her how long the moon's been gone. Um, She says... For ten years, there's been no moon in the sky. Well, it comes out every once in a while, but like once, once, it, once, it's not regular. You know how the moons used to come and go at regular intervals. Just not anymore. It comes out, you know, sometimes once every three weeks or once every every three months. Would that track with would, would that track with when we installed her as the god of the moon? A hundred percent. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> um. Now, also, uh, Ashak, and he's doing stuff in Vietnam. He's making movies. <laughs> I know that. He's I actually know an actor called Sylvester Stallone now. He's I know the that. Rambo movies, if you've heard. 
who is he again? I remember the name, but I forget who he is. An archer. Played, yeah, he was the archer from like the very beginning. Yeah. yeah. Didn't he no, die? But no, but haven't we encountered him since I started? Because I recognize the name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ashok, I think. Ashok died. Yeah, I did thought he, he died. He died. He died in the big war up in Rapnesh, I think. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he shakes me good. But I tell you what, Phil Jordan did. Oh. He yeah, might have been the I worst multi-class I've ever seen. He tried that was Killjack. That was Killjack. Oh yes, Killjack tried to multi-class, and it was really bad. It was terrible. He but now he's a god. But now he's somehow a demi god <laughs> of some sort. Yeah, so he's apparently that's work. I think he's the. The something of uh, making bad decisions and classy. Uh, but Feldorn, um, yeah, we gotta find Feldorn actually. Yeah, the, the Fae Goddess actually, stole his heart and have made him her bitch. It's it's complicated, <laughs> Feldorn. Honestly, I think after we get all of your stuff, I'm gonna go to the Fae Wild just to get Feldorn. Yep. I think that's gonna be my next task. Yep. Yeah, just what happened to him. She says, the Aiden Lotus, well, he's probably better than a Tumask. Well, that's quite the story. She's yeah. she so so you guys so so Damus, you're you're up you had climbed back up to the top and the dwarves had kind of come out of the out of the out of the um out of the 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 reeds and, and the bushes and stuff like that. So you're surrounded by you know, there's probably a hundred dwarves around. And she says Well you all are right legends. Can you how can we help you? You said you want to... that green shit. Of an emerald team? Yes. Do you have anything from this list? Then we show what the list. Krakens and Burgess, Emeraldine, five ounces, shadows, shadow. She says, <laughs> "No, except for this." And she breaks the she she detaches the gem off of the 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 the, the pommel of her axe. It's a it's a green, um, it, it like it's not as shiny as a, as an emerald would be. It's like a um, an uncut emerald, and she hands it to you. Here, there should be more than five ounces. Sick. Is she That's crushing it. on Demos? She um, trying to crush me. I fucking crush her. She says she she hands it. She she says, "You say that Kildrak is a god now." Who is like yep. a demigod? He's looking for no, he's got a, a weird he's archangel. Got but he's, no, is he, is he, he a full flash god? I thought he was a. No, he, no, he, 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 he's he's um. He, yeah, he was he was developing into the god of crafting, so he's like a minor god. He's like a minor god. Yeah, for can't feel, feel doing, feel doing the minor she says, god. She says, I swear. He, he maybe that's to why. Maybe that's why. Oh. He says. She says. He has very bad taste. She says, maybe that's why. In the last ten or twenty years, all our craftsmanship has 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 been in its in 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 its heyday. Our craftsmen have been working wonders lately. You oh, yes, I can tell. Going. From Ooh. your short and thick statues, that you make short and thick weapons. In the fashion of Feldorn. She says, Out of curiosity, do these heights of crafting occur most often when the moon is gone? She says, She thinks for a second. She says, There may be something there. On the nights when the moon is out, it's kind of hard to to do good work over the forge. <laughs> yep. mm. We tracks. made a problem, guys. We should probably just let the devils and demons win. Before we get L, before we get L wars. Yeah. Well, thanks she says, for the gem. Um, any of you guys want to come with us? Hi, I'm Davos. Have you guys ever decided to go uh, hang out in Praise Tempest? She says no, but you guys are small I will and weak. Do you want to be says, stronger and bigger? No, we have our own god now. Kill no, the no, rack, no, no. and, and a big smile she comes to her face. My new god. She Sorry, says. Bitch. Please, do me a favor. She says, for all the favor that's 
that my grandmother earned for our family in your eyes. Do me a favor, would you? Tell yeah, yeah, yeah. Kildrak next time you see him yeah, that George, yeah. there I'm is, sure not like when he's here, but sure, keep going. That there's yeah. there's a red, a mm -hmm. uh, uh, a young, yes. red-haired, red dwarven, like dwarven Kildrak lady. Yes, of course. Who, she uh -huh. says, she says, who who would love if uh -huh. Kildrak would love to come down to Earth and sire uh -huh. some little dwarven demigods. That she, oh, yeah. she would be all ready for him. Yes, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go up to kill Drake. I'll be like, hey, kill Drake. So there's this, this chick. And she wants to. Her name's Squirrel, apparently. And um, she wants to, uh, you know, just have her uterus her, erupted. By she, she's the. She's the she, her name's Squalina. She's her, her granddaughter. Hmm. You know, right? Are you sure actually, you don't wanna go up there yes, yourself? Just, I mean. She this... just committed herself to being to being a divine baby factory. This is not what is gonna happen, guys. You think yeah, he's gonna is. find out and now murder oh, all the yeah. dwarves. Yeah. We yeah, just Squalina. I can't, she, Squalina, Squalina, I can't just, say anything. Hey, you yeah, hey. Yeah. You just, need to I'm not scared. I'm not scared oh, of no. some dark uh, dark elven bitch. She will drop no, okay. no, she will drop. Oh, she yeah. will drop. She will Wait, drop a fucking moon. <laughs> she will drop a fucking moon on this planet. She's not good. You must, you must retract that request before the moon crashes into this planet. For real, um, though, she's like... That's more than the rest of us, dear. That's more than the rest of us, and I'm looking for cover now. She's like <laughs> pretty mean. I grab her by the hair and beat her, beat her, her elven titties around with me axe okay. and show her okay. what's boss. Yeah. You know what? Okay, okay. You know what? Um, hey, I respect minus. you. But this is... Yeah. You can hurt me I, because... I bow my you. head. I bow my head. And I say, <laughs> Euphemia, there is a short little red-headed dwarf here <laughs> who wishes to, to speak to you. If you could come and grace us with your presence, I pray. Okay, I, you pray uh, off into into the night sky. I have already left. Yep. I'm there is no moon, though. There is no moon. So, yep, so you, if Euphemia is not listening... There's no moon. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, we got the Emerald Dean. I have left. Give us horses. We want fast things oh. to get out of this place. You guys can't leave. No. You can't leave. There's no. You can't. There's no magic. No, but we're like horses. No, 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 no. Kelly, uh, oh, horse. Oh, you walk. Oh, you're walking away. <laughs> okay. I'm not away in horror, and therefore I'm no longer in the vicinity. Give me a second. I have a perfect plan. I grab. Kelly, uh, we have the gem. You want to send it to Satellizer, please. Are you in charge of this place, dwarven red-haired lady? Squalina. The name's Squalina. I will She's... remember your name for sure, yes, of course. I, I I, had the honor of being first patrol captain. Okay, do you want to take a break? I'll drop you off for Keldrick. No. No, I, I have no business going up there. I have my people down here. Just, but if Keldrick needs a little bit of a... a bit of an earthly vacation... Tell him to come my way. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, show uh, him what yeah. a real woman can do. Okay. Yes. Um. I'm not gonna do that because your female will stab me somewhere. I'm recording. I'm recording all of this. Yes. Yeah, so that's <laughs> not happening. Um. And, but and, you know and, what? You yeah, can do your prayers. But uh, I'm a very against getting stabbed multiple times. It's, I'm allergic to it. Very actually. well. Whenever too much gets stabbed, it hurts me. Just, that's all right. Suit yourself. Yes. Who's the strongest one about you? I will pass on your message if I can guarantee that it will not result in the destruction of this world. Thank you. She smiles. Anyway, I have more patrolling to do. I, I know that you're not enemies, because my grandma tell me, told me that you're, you're, you're a fine, fine man. So, we have dangers to look out for. Like this... Kids? Demons. Like Is there a demon around here? Nay. She, she goes, nay, Earth. nay. Just dark beasts. They come out of the earth the, the regularly. What, 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 yeah, what about a shadow? Or a kraken? Kraken. She, she shadows scratches her head for a second. Nay. No shadows. More like, she says, large bug creatures. Things with rotten skin. Uh, lots of them. They were constantly at war. Fighting them off everywhere, they they climb up underneath our homes, they they come up over our walls. The queen has has us always on alert. They they don't use much magic, so our emeraldine doesn't do any good. 
but we fight them with blade and bow and axe and hammer. She she looks at, she she points to the, the notches on her on her axe. She says, "I've killed fourteen myself. That's how I made first patrol captain." It's pretty pretty cool. If you read Fuck right, it is. Where's their leader? <laughs> where's the biggest? The 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 monsters. Yes, where's the biggest they, monster? She shrugs. They says they come out. They come out of the ground. Certain times, hard to predict. She says, <laughs> no, she says, honestly, they're everywhere. She says, you cross all of Tandesh from here in Kragland over to Rapnesh, the broken, the broken lands, down south to Coraline and, and Azoa, everywhere. Uh. These creatures, they've been they're, they're roaring out of the ground more and more frequently. Nowadays, all of our people from from we lads up to the elderly we all have weapons at all times it's hard you know you know what would really help a little demigod baby yeah. if he were if yeah. we had a little demigod baby part of our clan to help us defend ourselves i know it'd be better yeah out of curiosity based on your description do i possibly recognize what she's talking about Monsters from the Underdark. Just pouring out all over the continent. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> I'm going to ask her also oh, if, they have, uh, if they have a, a, a therapist with any experience offering counseling to goblins. Yes. Does that look like a fucking therapist? Nay. No. Dwarves don't need therapy. Dwarves don't do therapy. Our therapy is a keg of ale. And a That's good hard a good fuck. Idea. That's a good idea. Thank you. But he ain't fucking what he wants. That's for sure. Well, thank you for this screen, Jim. Um, we're gonna go do more stuff. And I'm at some point thinking we might take care of some worm things. I don't know. I... That would be good. She says that would be good. If you want to get out the range of the Emeraldine, she says you'll have to walk off that direction for two miles. That's it. Aye. Give me your horses. <laughs> <laughs> it takes like ten minutes, Demos. Take you like. Demos wants a horse. I'll buy you one next time. She says. She says. Okay. She she waves a, and, and a couple of her of her um they they give you miniature horses because they're they're dwarves. <laughs> I ride two of them at the same time. Cause I <laughs> just just farewell. I'll tell the queen that you were here. Okie dokie. Wait wait a second. She Do waves. I have any I can give you uh, inventory. You know, so I have a literally jack shit in my inventory. <laughs> you lost everything again. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Demos gets caught jumping around, disappears. You lost everything for a goblin you need to get a therapist for. <laughs> he's pretty sweet. He's a guy. He hey, built hey, it up. I'm saying, he's pretty sweet. He's pretty cool. That's how the he game goes. Demos collects stuff for two years, and then he has, a, has to sacrifice it all. <laughs> hey, it's going to come and clutch at some point. At some point, it's going to happen. This is terrible. He deleted like two years worth of stuff. <laughs> Dude, straight up, that's how it always happens. Dude, he is a very valuable party, like asset. Okay. Uh, is Damos? Is Damos saying this when he's riding two mini ponies? Uh, the two miles. It was a great choice. In like five minutes. So. Friendly. <laughs> So, so the dwarven, the dwarven advice for for therapy was a keg of ale and a good hard fuck. Okay. Yeah. That's dwarven therapy. He, just not from who he wants to fuck. Okay. All right. So you say goodbye to Squalina. Um. Just. All right. What are you guys the, doing? The, the, what are you guys doing? The queen. The queen is Elwyn's ex, right? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Making sure I'm remembering my for it. Um, so we're heading two miles. Yeah, two Eloise. Away from this. Okay. Yeah. So you guys ride for two miles, which takes you, I don't know, like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, and then you can feel your power returning to you gradually over the course. And then you're you're finally far enough away cool. that you, any teleportation magic or anything you wanted to do would would, would work. Uh, okay. Demos, I know where to get the bone. Okay. In. I teleport us to that tomb where we killed the worm. Um. That is definitely a high demon. Or was before we killed it. <clears throat> okay, so that's in Borthal. Mm -hmm. Right about here. Okay. Alright, you guys vanish and appear there. You're deep in the underground and you find yourselves at the large white stone gateway that for hundreds of years. Right? Um. When you arrive, though, instead of the instead of the 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 tomb like um, like mausoleum that it used to be, where it was it was silent. When you when, I mean, the last time you were here, it was it was mostly silent. Um, now you hear all kinds of motion, and there's all kinds of activity all over the place. Uh, shit. There's we fucking just need one of it, we, we just need one of its bones, then we can get out of here. Let's fucking get in there, bitch. Have okay. you found like even if that sounds like progress and civilization? Um, uh, are you looking? Underdark creatures. Yeah, we're looking because I'm assuming that thing was fucking huge. It had to have a big ass fucking skeleton. I figured that we didn't even kill all of it, and now yeah, we did. We killed it. Oh yeah. Because we had to kill it because it busted through the gate after we closed it. We tried to seal it back in, and then it busted through the gate, so we had to kill it. What if it's like it spawns? There are the worms coming up through the ground. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll just kill them if they get in our way. Yeah. All right, so you guys going inside? So you guys are outside the big white stone gates. Um, you see that the main gate is open. It's like cracked, so it's halfway open. Inside, you can hear some movements, and you and and stuff inside the temple. Walk inside. All right. You walk inside. All confident, like. All right. Hiding behind this. And you can see down um, on the ground. There's there's like movement, right? And there's there's a um, smell smells of like musky fungus and and damp. Um, like a, like a swamp almost swamp um, humid environment right you see along the walls of the this temple that there's little little bioluminescent molds and stuff that are helping illuminate some of the area um, you see a movement in the corner and stepping out uh, is a creature that looks like this uh, fuck one of you guys and then you hear this garbled dark speech right just um just just reverberating through the air, right? And there appear along with him dozens and dozens of other of his species, all different kinds of of, you know, different clothing and different different weapons that they hold. So you're looking and there's probably about fifty of them. It's pretty cool. I wave and I'm like, Hello, do you have anything on this list apart from the one we scratched off? We haven't been here in a few decades. Um, what what language are you speaking? Uh, common, but then they don't I understand you. Switching, I, then I use elemental speech, which nope. works because it's there. <laughs> I use primordial. Nope, no one understands. Abyssal. No one understands. Celestial. Nope. Everyone understands celestial. All right. All right. At this point, a wall of force goes up behind you guys. And they start charging in, blasts of energy and lightning and stuff get flown through the flung, flung through the air. All kinds of shit is flying. I'm gonna go grab some of them 
and then smash him through the water force because it makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> oh, okay. I got to flex in a while. Okay. Game All right. So here, here. Fun. Yes. Hold on. Let me prepare the. So do we have a turn to charge up while they start getting their? No, they're they're they're, they're, they're charging. They start in. They're blasting charging. stuff. Oh, they start blasting right away. They... All right. Well, I'm gonna start blasting my fucking sick beats. Demos is gonna be a beatboxer now. I'm just joking. I can't do that. Alrighty. Uh, and we'll just go a couple of these, and. Man, it'd be super cool if they're just straight PHP things. All right. Well, I would be incredibly impressed if Midas predicted I would bring us here and already had something ready for it. <clears throat> All right. So they come charging out at you guys. Alright, so, initiative rolls. I will cue up the battle music. Hello, my friends. It's me, Jameis. Oh, uh. I don't know what that is. I'm actually so, I have stuff. Cobrian languages, but they don't seem to be saying much. They're speaking, um. deep speech. Okay, so, I, I will. yeah. <laughs> I would be like, comprehend languages, but I can't speak with that. Anyone have tongues? Uh, probably, but... So, you can, so are you using comprehend yeah. languages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm using my, uh, my math to cast comprehend languages. <laughs> okay, so they, so they're, um, you hear them shouting, um, these invaders, these, these invaders are, are an insult to our queen, Slay them, tear out their tear out their their bowels. Um, it says um, break. He says break their skulls open, um, um, crack open their minds, that, that kind of stuff. I Suck out their to brains. I what they're saying, and I'm like, hmm, they have a queen. Anyone interested in getting with a queen? No, but I think we can talk to her. What if we don't kill any of these guys, and then we bring them all to the queen? That sounds like a tribute. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Great thing. On the map. Alright, you're up, Damos. Damos is getting in walk. Actually, first, uh, Damos will uh, hit a, uh, a super. Uh, this just a level one Damos, you know, because I'm just a cool, cool guy. Um, not, not fancy. And then he's going to uh, you know, grapple this uh, number six. Okay. Wait, do me. Can I grab you? you? Then I'm gonna grapple uh, number one. Uh, is there anybody dead? Contest a strength check? Uh, uh, yes. And then I will uh, use the attack action out of it. They fail. Non lethally smash both <laughs> their heads together. <laughs> Alright, Damos. I need you to do a. do a. Um, dexterity check. You're asking great right. questions. This is a, a sleight of hands check. Yes. So all right. Slight, my hands are the fastest. You slipped. All right. All right. All right. All right. You slip, and you know it. You don't know your own strength. Okay. So roll, roll, um, unarmed strike damage and cut it in half. Cut it, your unarmed, unarmed, unarmed damage in half because you're trying to be gentle. Of course. Yeah. You're right. Nice punch. That is... Which one? Which ones are you doing that to? Uh, um, six one. and one. Six and one? Okay. Yes. And I'm like, very carefully. Frick. Um. Okay, cool, cool, cool. One still left. So the first one, his head just bladders open. Oops. And, okay. um... I'll use my blood splatter token. There we go. I'm just gonna grab number two and number one, and then I'll clunk their heads together just because I have that whatever thing. So uh, I'm just gonna just half damage. I'm assuming the same thing's gonna happen again. All right, yeah, make a uh, sleight of hand check. Oh, that's damage. That's half damage. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the half damage. I'm just gonna get just everything out of the way, but here is the uh, dexterity. Oh, okay, so that one's better. Yeah. So that one, that one, that one you manage will we'll quarter the damage. Knock him out. <laughs> I just want to knock him out. I don't want to still be alive just slapping at me. All right, so um, number two and one now. Is that what you did? Uh, number one and number two, yeah. Okay, so those guys are both unconscious, and they've taken forty damage each. Very nice. So how many are dead? <laughs> Dude, this first one, he had a brain concussion already. He didn't let me know about his pre-existing conditions of having a soft skull. I'm, I'm like rubbing my, my uh, eyes like, oh my god. Oh, uh, so the ones that are tipped over are, are unconscious. They're on the ground unconscious. Oh, okay. Alright, Gail. I'm going to look at the ones that are dead and I'm just going to be like, crap, okay. Um, I pull up my sleeves and then I'm like, oh wait, and I look at the others and I am just going to uh, take a moment respite and I am going to cast uh, be shaping and just turn them into kittens for now. Uh, while I deal Which with ones? One All of them? Killed. Yeah, so I'm just going to cast that. Hold on. That's uh, all oh, failures. Oh, sorry. It, yeah, I can't actually apply the effect of that. So, yeah. Um, which which spell? That, this is the beast shaping one. And okay. I'm just turning them into kittens for now while I deal with the one he killed. And I hand um, Deimos a sack to put the kittens in. Okay. Yeah, they, they all turn into cats. This okay. spell is so ridiculous. It's level 8 and it's better than Mass Polymorph, which is level 1. <laughs> it's my quick, like, I can't actually communicate with you because I don't have tongues, but you have the 5 minute, like, oh, hold off. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Never mind. It's not better. Alright, so. Uh, you're surrounded now, Damus, by 50 kittens. <laughs> Alright, Adis, what are you doing? There's cats everywhere, uh, little kitties everywhere. Okay. Are you looking around for it? Do your perception check. Perception, perception. If it's low, I'm gonna spark here. Here is perception. There it is. I will spark it with a times three. <laughs> <laughs> you do not see anything. <laughs> Which one of the kittens was like the dude who was saying he was gonna like kill us all? Uh, we'll call it the one with the, that, whose head is splattered on the ground right now. It actually was that one. <laughs> that was. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that's so unfortunate. Well, I'll just pick a random cat and disintegrate it. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? It's Gas instant tongue, death. Damn it. it's, it's instant death. All right. One just dies. Full on disappears. We'll call it this one here. Okay. All right, Damos. So there's kittens everywhere. <laughs> Renly turned them all into cats, <clears throat> little kitties, okay. and she gave you a bag to cat to to round them up. Okay, they're already in the bag, and I'm naming them. <laughs> okay, so the fight is over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the things on our list. Do I see a shadow within a shadow? You do not. Or a skeleton. <laughs> Where's the fucking queen? I'll keep looking for this. The, big the cats can't talk. Mm. Alright, Ada's roaming another perception check. It. Yeah, they're 24 hours. That spell lasts for 24 fucking hours as long as she concentrates on it. Yeah, I'll be I'm gonna, have to, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to remember that spell because I can wish cast it and it's really hard for me to lose concentration. Yeah, it's very easy for me to lose concentration. How many, <laughs> how, many, how many targets? Can you cast it on? And as many as I can see within range. Holy shit! Wow. And I lose yeah. concentration within one they, round usually. <laughs> yeah, and we, and we limited it. I think we limited it when you were in the fighting those huge hordes of demons underneath. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did. In Shehakim, yeah, but it, it ended up being like like a thousand. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um. So what are you guys doing? I'll, 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 cast, I'll cast the light spell since they're cats now, and it won't set them off so that we can okay. actually see. So I'm All gonna right. speak cat the with the cats, and then ask them where the queen is. Hello, meow meow. The queen is meow meow. You guys like fish and meat. Tell me where the queen is. Pretty clean. So you're doing that, and Deimos. I would scratch your bellies. So wriggling out of you, out of the pouch that you're wearing, Deimos. Yes. Little um, little uh, Nina's little kitty pops out, yes. she and and she, she she sees all the attention, and she 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 starts cuddling with with you and playing with the other kitties, bouncing yes. around and. Yes. Nina. Keep an eye out for little worms, Deimos. Tell me, tell me, where? See, uh, see, can, you, can you ask him where the queen is? She looks at you. She pauses. And she bats at your finger. <laughs> these guys, look at this. I told you a trick. Bat at my finger again. So, so Nina's, Nina's daughter is an actual kitten? <laughs> Yep. So they 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 have all have intelligence of what what's 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 their actual intelligence? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> She's an actual cat. Um, I we left her. I thought we left Nina at the um, where I was satellizers area. You left your cat there? No, she's always with you because you wouldn't give her. Yeah, up. you you, pa you packed her up. It. You said hell no. Yeah, you always have her. Well, I've yeah. been playing wrong we just the don't whole let her, time. She just... oh, oh, I've been fighting. She's a cat. Then yes, Midas, very good. Midas just gave her protection while she's on. Yeah, person. you um, built armor for her, or something yeah, like that. She's immune to everything. All right, yeah, wait, my beautiful kitty. Oh wait, if if he was the one that he killed insta dead, like can I like healing word the one that was that he smushed? Uh no, he splattered his head. <laughs> and okay. and and I did and I disintegrated the body. No, that was a the only chunk. The only the only bone that you guys are finding around here are, are the chunks of bone from the the skull that Damos Damos shattered on the ground. Allegedly, we gotta go deeper and find the worm. Well, it should okay. be right here inside the gate, unless these fuckers did something with it. The queen probably has it. So uh, I'm problem, gonna go right. sense. Tatus, intelligence check. All right, intelligence check and sensing demon. Yeah, all of you, intelligence check. Check or save? Check. I'm gonna I'm gonna spark it just because it seems important. Yeah. So that's a okay. Uh, Sixty three. Oh, you know. All right. I'm gonna do this. Do you guys just are... because okay what? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm gonna say. <clears throat> so I was gonna say. Do you guys remember what the demon that you fought here was? Yeah, worm, worm dick. Big worm with all the faces. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we killed his ass. Okay. You find the remnants of its carcass. Right. Okay. I mean, and it's 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 mostly just indentation and, and like some some tattered up tattered up leather. Most of it has 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 decomposed in the probably uh, like ten years. So there's still chunks of it. There's still pieces, hardened pieces of it, on the ground. Um, husky, like leathery textured stuff, spines and that kind of thing. Um, there are zero bones because worms don't have Wait, bones. You were coming here for this what? thing? The tentacles, have those, bones? Tentacles, those tentacle has it has bone teeth. No, it has tentacle thingies with oh those <laughs> things. Those are teeth. Those yeah. are bones. <laughs> What's bone. sticking out of it? Do you like bones? You find you find you find a few of some 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 teeth <laughs> and spines an and stuff like that. that, is that is not oh yeah, bone. spine is bone. Spine is bone. Spines, spine, spines. The spines. No, no, no are like, like spikes. No spines. Yeah, yeah, thorns. Oh, spikes are made of yeah. bone. No, they're more like claw. <laughs> Claws are made out of bone too. My keratin. So, so worms. My hair and so, nails, right? Keratin. Yeah, worms don't have bones. <laughs> I'm just like sighing. 
Okay, where else do you have a... Uh, you know what? Maybe you know what? Me for this. It, it, it takes, like, five minutes for me to cast that spell. You could have appeared at any time, but you didn't. So shut it. Shut it. I said where we were going. No, you I thought there was something else here so, with bones, you, not nope, this. Nope. You, you didn't object. You don't get a shit talk now. Yeah. I've never seen you except to fight this thing. Yes. Damos, you see your kitty roll its eyes. <laughs> I know. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just doing my thing. I just. I mean, right. Damos, is there something else over here that might have, like, actual bones? Like, oh, yeah. high demon bones? Of course. We need demon bones, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get a demon. High demon bones. I'm high gonna... demon bones. Oh. Hey, demon. Wait, do we know the name of any demons that are dicks that we hate? That we have That you haven't killed? <laughs> yeah. That's the caveat. <laughs> sure, um, we dicks and carcasses, right? Like some... Not demons. Do we just need to bone, right? Bones take a long time to degrade and disappear, right? Yep. Alright, guys, we gotta go back to the starting starting town. I think that we accidentally killed one that was really hurt with a log. Session number <laughs> one. <laughs> session number two, because session soon. number one was the big war. Session number two. Bones will be there. Okay, okay where are you going? Isn't it the Corlands? I, I, I forgot. Amberbrook. Amberbrook was the city. Amberbrook, yeah. The town, yeah. A Amberbrook. Yeah, yeah, so we go to Amberbrook, and it's like, in their mind, that's not too far away from Amberbrook. I will mage hand the bones into a separate sack, and not the bones of teeth, in case Satellisa would like them for something. Okay. I will uh, teleport us there, but I will not bring any of the cats. Oh, yeah, we're leaving them behind. Except the one cat, she gets my person. Yeah. Yes. She, she always comes with you. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm scroll I, so back in session number one and two, I used to make really, really detailed notes and everything. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> it's always now I, <laughs> now I barely write down anything. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I was, I was you like just see. That when I started mine too. For one like session, that. I have oh, all yeah. this stuff and co and dialogue and like characters and quests and. and... You know what I did, <laughs> Holy Midas? crap! What? I got this. I got this journal extension for Fantasy Grounds Unity and basically tricked my players into doing it for me. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so I just go all look right. at their journal entries. <laughs> Okay, so you head back to Amberbrook, right? Um, and you find the mine. Let's see here. So, Damos, you're going to have to, you would have to help Ada's teleport there. Yes. Right? Thanks. Being it perfectly. Okay, so um, Damos and Adis, ro both, uh, Adis roll. Both of you roll intelligence checks, because Adis, it's your casting modifier, and Damos, you're trying to describe to him the location. I do Arcana since it's a spell. I'm stupid smart. No, this is, this, this is you trying to, you, the two of you trying to figure out how to, to make this work. No, it's right there. I point on the map, and I'm just like, you gotta go over here, you see a tree here. I so cast good. telepathic bonds so he can visualize, and, and Adis can kind of like read the thoughts. Okay, all right. You guys arrive back at the initial town that you landed in, which was Olid's Mill, right? Um, Amberbrook was the larger guys... town that you went to eventually. So this is where you guys started out from. Yes. Oh. Uh, it's 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 pretty homey. It's up. It is. I'm back. Which house is yours, Damos? None of them. What? Wait. I why? have no idea. I wasn't from this place. I just walked here one day. Oh. Yep, they just walked here. They um they woke up um they were resurrected up in the hills above Olid's Mill. Okay. So, so so there are towns that exist that you've been through, Demos, that are still intact. Yes. 
I'm so proud of you. It's a marvel. It's the weirdest so thing is, after I met you guys, things went south real fast. Probably. Oh, we love small. you too. Now where is this high demon? This over here. Demos. This. Some some people in the town, as you guys arrive, start to start to look at you in your guys' general direction. Uh, now, um, is this the town is not this pretty anymore? Okay, the sky is darker, right? Even though it's morning now. All right, you know, it's so no, you guys arrive at nighttime, so it's it's still dark. The stars in this area of the world are light are similarly um, dim in the sky. Okay, and there are fewer stars than than there should be. Um, the the grass and and the, the the wildlife and the trees and all that stuff are withered, right? There's barely any plant life. There's some, but there's barely any plant life. The water is flowing, but it's weak. The the mill is is the the wheel at the at the mill is barely turning, right? Um, you see a dim fire in one of the the homes, right? Um, but some of the 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 houses look like they've been vacant for a while. Um, and and some are actually broken and and like collapsed. Oh, is there good? I run into the house that has the door open, and I bust in. And I'm like, "What's up, guys?" Are you okay. sure you didn't destroy this town because it looks pretty demolished? Oh, I haven't been here in a long time. I don't think he did it. Okay. Why those weird things from the ground? Okay, okay, okay. So. Damos, you, you, you break in and you see several people, a family, um, a, a lady, a couple small children, um, and uh, a man, like like, like a, an older man in, in the room, huddling around a fire. The... The lady... Looks up at you. One second here, where I put it? Okay. It's One of the ladies, the the lady there with the kids. Um, she look, she's there, down by the fire, and she she looks up at you and she gasps. She says, "Huh?" She says, "Strangers in our town." She says, "What are you doing? Please don't hurt me and my children." We come bearing gifts. Hi. Yes. Hey, Moss. Yes. Here's your gifts. Uh, I reach around my pockets and I throw like fifty gold pieces at her. She yeah. she sees the gold clatter to the ground. She's. I don't use this anymore. <laughs> it's uh, it's in my pockets. <laughs> she she they look at the coins falling on the ground and her kids pick them up and she she picks up one of the coins, and she, and she hears you speak, Deimos. And she looks and she says, "Do I know you?" Yes, you do. I'm the one who got your cat, and it wasn't even a cat. She stands up a oh, bit and she says, Yo, sir, you look pretty young for how old you're supposed to be. Will you do Maybelline? So, oh, God. so she, um, at Deimos, at, at, as you're doing that, um, your cat pops out of your, of your pouch, right? Looks up to her and jumps down and, and it goes up and sits on her lap and her, and she, she smiles she gasps a little bit. She starts petting the cat, and her kids do too. Okay, cool, cool. She says, "I spark an earthquake." Oh my god! Don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> she says, "I remember you, and my cat." That's right. When I was a little girl, you came to our town. And you helped me get my cat down from a tree. Yes. Do you remember exactly. me? Well, I stole the cat. Yes. You did. 
<laughs> you missed it and I took your cat. You missed it's that and it's okay. She says. Did you know that she was a were cat? What? Yeah, her name's Nina. And Captain Fluffy Paws, but she was a were cat. She, she says, I don't know what that means. This is her daughter. <sighs> she smiles and she says, Kitty. And she, she hugs it and her, her children pet it as well. She says, she says, I'm Lily. Lily Creason. I was the little girl. She smiles and she says, "Oh!" And 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 she tears start to 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 come to her her eyes. She says, "Back when life was more simple." Says, yeah, what made it more complicated? Because this looks rough. Yeah, you don't look like shit. She says, I mean, yeah. "Well, we're grateful for what we have, but." Life is just hard. Much harder than I remember it being as a child. Just... Trees don't grow. Crops don't yield. The river barely flows. There's no... There's barely any game in the woods to hunt. Same the stars don't come out at night anymore. But the moon and comes like once a month, right? Hardly. But it counts. <laughs> Guys, making progress. Uh, Midas, is there a, I don't know, like a brick or some inanimate, not being used object, roughly with the mass of a cat nearby? Sure. I mean, outside you can find like a, uh, like some rocks or some some bundles of of dead wood or that that kind of thing. I'll pick up a log that's you know, roughly the size of a cat. I've met Fluffy Paws. I will imagine in my head what Fluffy Paws looked like as a cat, and then I will true polymorph that piece of wood into a cat that looks what I think Fluffy Paws as a cat would look like. And All right. To her. Get, roll, roll intelligence check. I'm going to see how accurate you can get. I will assist. All right. And give you a plus 47 <laughs> because I have a ton of pictures. <laughs> Okay, so you, the two of you putting, um, putting your minds together um, create an identical cat version. Not a werecat, but a cat version of Nina or, um, when she was um, younger. Okay? I give it to her. Um, and I will hold the concentration for an hour or so to stay permanent. Yeah, the cat goes bounding in. And she, um, the the mother Lily, she gasps, and holding the two cats in her arms, the kids come in and they and they, they crowd her. She says, "This one, it really is my cat. My goodness!" And she smiles. He did it, and I pointed Damos. She says, I didn't "Do it! I stole your cat, and it's my cat. Nina's a strong, independent kitty, but it is here did a good thing, and I respect him for it, and I give him a high five." She, she smiles. She says, my children will be overjoyed. And as the kids are already playing with the cat and, and giggling and laughing. Is 50 gold pieces enough for you? I don't know how much money works in your village, but it looks pretty crappy. She comes out. Fix it. She, she walks out. She, 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 she puts the cats down and her kids are on the floor playing with them. And she walks out She and she... she she says, please, can I speak to you outside? Yes. She, she steps out. She says, I walk I'm not, wall. She says, I'm not dumb. <clears throat> I know that my cat must be long gone by now. Yeah, but thank dead. you so much. I know you are have magic of some kind. And you've brought a little bit of laughter to my children's lives. I have not heard that in a while, quite a while. So thank you. That cat will stay forever. It's a real cat. It's a real cat. Thank so you. I have to feed it. Yeah, please feed my the cat. Oh God, feed. Oh, Here's God. more money. Um, I throw fifty. <laughs> Rinley, I'm, I'm Rinley. going to help that much. Rinley, I need your help. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to get Rinley, and I want her to help me, and I'm gonna use Wish to cast Plant Growth instantly, the full eight-hour cast instantly, and with her help. I want to basically make the entire like area within a mile of this town green again. 
Well, I wanted to actually do community nature first to see if whatever Thai demon they killed supposedly is cursing the land first. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's let's that's, that's a good call, Adis. But let's do Renly's first, and then we'll go to Adis. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Good call. Yeah. Okay. So Renly, that, so. go ahead. Yep, totally commuting. I'm going to be like, hey, what's okay. up, land? So Renly, you reach out your consciousness to nature, and you're you're back in touch. You're you're back on your home world, on 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 material plane, on ten dash, and you're it's like a fish to water as you are are sucked back into the stream of nature. Um, and you it does feel good, but it's also um diminished. And you're searching for a cause. Everything just seems less vibrant. You're searching, but you're searching for a cause, right? And it's not because there, you can't find any any dark presence, any any source of it all, right? And what you're realizing is that on up in Mount Celestia, it's not as evident because that's the home of the gods. But down here on the material plane, the absence of gods, the absence of of one second here. Portfolios are dying. Yeah, the absence of Mialiki, god of forests, and Shantea, the goddess of agriculture. Um, the and Mal Malara, god of the hunt. As those gods um, passed on, their portfolios start um, were having to be held together by their angels, right? But as angels who either died or themselves have been have grown weaker from the sheer strain of it, that their uh, their effect on the world has faltered, and at, by this point, it's had a significant impact on the people living on this world. Alright. We haven't actually come across any angels with portfolios in forestry, husbandry, or anything of that nature, right? So far no. on no. no. How big is this village, Midas? How big is it? Uh not much bigger than this picture. Alright. Um I'm gonna ask her if they've had any problems with unsavory douchebags. Um or um uh, like wild, like dangerous wildlife, like fucking with them. She says, uh, "A month ago, a, a monster came by. It was was found in the water. Had had swum up from some cave underwater. The, uh, the she said my neighbor said, the men all got together and killed it." Uh, one one of them lost a leg. Uh, she says, "I." We haven't. We haven't seen much around here, but we've just been trying to survive, honestly. Yeah. Could I make a roll to do a mental calculation of what I think it would cost for uh, a palisade, a wooden palisade around this place? Like a wall? Yeah. So it's been quite some time. You guys have, let's see, your, what are your major resources? You have your 10th level spells, you have your music of the spheres, um... You guys have your full, your full retinue of spells and and and, and things left. Your, all your sparks and, and and that kind of thing. So if you go, if you want to accomplish, you know, like full on, like miracles down here and stuff, you can. Oh, I just want to wish create a solid wall with two gates around this place. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, rather let's let's have a plan for like rejuvenation and economic growth i feel like we need a new chimichanga factory but we also need a bit of a um 
maybe a temple to Mistra, goddess of what is, right? And what was? Yeah, I, what I'm is? Totally on... Oh, you know what? I wonder, is that spell? You got wish, baby. You can do anything. Let's build up a town. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna convert this town to Mistra. I'm gonna wish create a temple to Mistra in the middle of this village. Fuck the wall. Yeah, you can okay. do the wall and stuff too. So yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make this chick. Um, she's gonna be the first apprentice priest of Mistra. Okay. Well, um. <laughs> she doesn't even know Mistra. <laughs> She will. Yeah. Oh, how, how are you going to explain that, sir? How are you going to explain to the people what you're doing? You know what? I don't even know how to explain what she's going to do. I get you, you guys. <laughs> you know what? Actually, for this one, for this one, hold on. For this one, we won't do Mistra. We'll save that because I've got to actually know how to explain what she's the god of, and I can't yet. So, my, uh, Deimos. You said Tempest needs some worshippers, right? So yeah, I yeah, he did. Oh yes, I will, I will, I will oh, yeah. wish create a temple Ooh. to Tempest. <laughs> you see, Damon just like fucking jumping back and forth and just like just like getting super hyped about this right now. I will create a temple to Tempest. Oh, shush, wait, 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 mm. wait. And I'm going to just create a stage, a really quick stage. So, and I'm going to like, do we have a bell to ring like for a town hall meeting? Yeah. Sure, sure, go ahead. Okay, Bye. so, yes, I'm going to do a little um, staging area, and I'll be like, <clears throat> I may we have your attention, please? We would like to do some redevelopment and growth in this area to help improve your lives. It okay. only costs worship of perhaps a new god. We are going to um, present to you your options for wonderful, better lives, because we're sorry we didn't realize you were suffering so much here. We apologize um but yes yeah, so um at this point please sit down around this um area and i am going to do a short presentation because i think my uh aurelian can now do like little holographic simulation thingies so <laughs> i'm gonna be like this is mistra goddess of what is nope not most <laughs> no 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 not mistra we're doing tempest i'm i'm so I'm presenting mistra <laughs> yeah, so so Tempest Tempest is a, it, he's um a deity in person but he has no domain. Exactly. Okay, we're going to create one out of nothing. He is going to be the god of the downtrodden. Well, it's not going to have any effect the temple on the land. You'd be, but... sur you'd be surprised what thinking of how this thing would do for people friendly. No, I mean seriously, they need a domain and stuff for Things to get better. Yeah, but <laughs> friendly Mistra doesn't even quite understand what she's the god of right now. So how are you or I going to explain it to people? Like this, and I do my Aurelian like holographic simulation of this is Mistra. I do a simulation of what Mistra looks like. She's fabulous, and this is the plane she's ruling over right now. And I show what the plane looks like with all of the angels. You know and... you're gonna make them all want to go there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and you you're are worshiping her. <laughs> she is awesome, and she will make your lives better. Okay. Persuasion check. Okay. With advantage because of the of the of the special effects. Huzzah! I have Anna Bella next to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, Deimos. Again, Renly doesn't want to go with the plan. Oh no, it works. Next day, I appreciate ladies. Okay. Um. So because you guys are there. And you 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 set up a simple shrine um, of bits of stone and fabric and um, uh, of multiple colors, right? Um, you're not sure what Mistra's um, you know heraldry would be, what her what her what what all is involved in it, but Rainbow you know fishes. you just you, yeah you just you you do what you think is right, what she would like, right? Bits of nature, bits of of beauty. And as you set this up um, in this dark world, light 
a, a, a spark of light comes down and shines out of the sky and, and just faintly illuminates the the shrine that you set up. It's like the clouds parted a little bit and a, just a little bit of moonlight came down even though it's not moonlight and illuminated the shrine. The the items on the table begin to just move subtly and they form on the on the shrine uh, the picture of a face. The people all smile and they whisper to themselves and they talk about about the 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 miracle that just happened there and they're, they're, the the kids are pointing and they're excited and the and it's bringing a smile to the, the faces of all the people in the area. Um Lily says, "Will she protect us?" I believe she's going to be a very good guide and guardian to you all. She says, "Oh, uh, oh, absolutely." We've we've been without any kind of worship for a long time, ever since I was a little girl. None of the gods replied. But this, I can feel it it's just down in my belly. This is hope. She smiles and she says, Come children, let's sing, let's dance. This is something to celebrate. And the kids go, um, come out, you know, they, 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 they start dancing around and, and, and the, all, all, the whole village, Lily, Lily leads a, a song. A song that hasn't been sung in this um, in this town for a long time. Deimos, you the, the melody sounds vaguely familiar. You you heard you, you heard them singing it back when you were in walking the plains, walking the streets back when you were level one. <laughs> um, walking the streets here, all right. It's it's a te- it's a song that has lots of history in this town in this in this area of the of the world. And um, you, you see older parents teaching it to their kids and the dance that goes along with it. A couple people bring out some, some crude instruments, some percussion instruments, and a, and a, and a, 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 you know, a, a rough like handmade fiddle. And the town starts to celebrate. And they don't have much, right? And there are, are you know, a fair number of fewer people in the town than last time you were here. But what they have now because of you guys, is a bit of hope. Oh, yeah. You can be safe. We're like really nice people. And we're very help people out. And we're really nice. I will transform okay. into tree form and, like, give people a bit of health and rejuvenation and be like, okay, Adis, did you want to do the, your, your, your thing for rejuvenating the man now? Yeah, after I do this one thing real quick. Okay. Um, since we're a little super duper wamba jamba, I would like to consecrate this entire village. Okay. With the hallow spell. Link it. Are you wishing? I can't. I it? can't share it. Um, okay. It won't. It's um, it's a fifth level evocation spell. Yeah, I use language to listen. Um, okay, what's do? Uh, basically, I get to choose creature types, and I can prohibit them from entering the village. Uh, okay. So, um, nobody can be possessed within the village. Charmed, frightened. Um, if a possessed person enters the village, they um, whatever's possessing them is forced out of them. Okay. Um, and I am also going to in- instill the uh, the courage effect upon the the area as well. Okay. I can bind in a, an extra effect to the area, and courage seems like. Yeah, All right. I'll do <clears throat> okay. 
it, it, it's fill, it, it settles the land, and you can tell that um, within the town limits and a little bit beyond, down to the stream side and off, um, you know, heading towards the forest, that this that this took effect. All right, um, the creatures of the Underdark, the aberrations and 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 stuff from down there, will not enter the town. I bar any creature from entering that is not a celestial, or um, um, I have to say humanoid because I can't specify like yeah. elves. I have to do creature yeah. types. So humanoids and celestials can and can enter, but no other creature type can enter. Well, they're animals and stuff can. Wait, what yeah. about primordials? Primordials Elementals. are barred from entering. Elementals are barred. Fae are barred. Thieves are barred. Undead are barred. Oh, so much for my awakened things. Okay, never mind. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, I guess, well, I guess elementals are naturally neutral, aren't they? Yeah, I was going to be a good type of... I was okay. like, yeah, I'll, they're, I'll they're leave, not going to die. I'll allow, I'll allow elementals. They're naturally neutral. <laughs> In any I'll bar any creature type that's generally evil. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I, I okay. will take a moment while you're doing that to, like, wreath my branches up, and I will be using comfort, and I'll ask Demos... <clears throat> <clears throat> yes. Like, you know, with my branches to be like, okay, it is time for a song. And Demos is oh, going to okay. lead us with his rendition Wait. off. Yes. And I wave my, my branches at him. Yeah, no, what time am I seeing? I don't know. You decide. Okay. Yeah. Um, one second. Uh, while he's thinking, Midas, I'm going to make a quick change. The binding effect I'm going to do instead of darkness, since they're already immune to being frightened, I'm going to do um, everlasting rest. Um, dead bodies interred within the town, or the area of the effect cannot be turned into undead. Okay. Okay. All right. Deimos goes out in the middle of there, and you see a sick beat going on, and you get my lyrical yep. dance. And Deimos is like, Everybody, rock your body. Everybody, <laughs> rock your body. Right, X Three Boys, alright. Oh my God, we're back again. Brothers, sisters, everybody, sing. We're gonna bring the flavor. I mean, I'm listening to that whole song. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Okay. okay, there's awkward clapping with me. Am I original? Yeah, yeah. Am I the only one? Yeah. Am I sexual? The kids, the the, the the kids and everyone are just like staring, like, and they're they're not quite sure what's going on. And after after Damos finishes, the you see the moms kind of like hold their kids in and say, "We won't be singing that one, darlings. We'll be singing our song." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about right. That's about right. <laughs> That's with advantage too. Actually, I have grand advantage. So whoever put it on me, they can get rid of it. I don't have this. You have advantage, but then it's the minus one, and you roll the seven. So yeah. Yeah, no, no, I have like grand advantage, like on me from somebody from something. I don't know what it's. No, I cast foresight on you at the start of the day. Oh frick! Yeah, dude, I need it. Yeah, you do. Midas, I'll weave a. Because of the the legacy item, I will weave like an alarm into that hallow spell. So if anything manages cool. to penetrate it, I get an alert about it. So I can come lay okay. smack down some people. Okay. All right. I'm the buffest dude there for a buffest chick, and um, I give him the pamphlet of Tempest as another matter of protection at, to try to convert them into Tempestism. And, uh, you know, maybe they'll be able to protect this. This be a whole lot better. I'll magic, okay. I'll magic a little altar for Tempest for Damus yep. since our plan got ruined. It's just a barbell. <laughs> yep. It's, yeah, a workout bench. Yeah, bro. All right. Oh, when did the man, the man's. Five? Cool. So, what are you casting that on, Renly? Oh, that's the thing when Adis is doing his witch thingy and we're working together. Um, to do the whole blessing of the area for growth okay. and renewal. So, blossom plus plant growth and enhanced spark. So, we're going to make we're sure gonna, things grow. Here, I'll throw mine in there, too. Um, we're, we're basically temporarily substituting for the gods. Oh, that was a... Yeah. Just a bit of a boost until, like, you know, things can kickstart. Yeah. 
with the help of Mr. Yep. And definitely with with those with those roles. Definitely with those roles, you you awaken something in nature itself, and you you tell them that this place will be fine, and you guys know that um, over the next few days life will begin to return to the area, um, and it's not just their little town here, but you know it's like their whole valley. So powerful was your your guys's combined um, awakened casting, so. Um, the rest of the world so far seems to be dark and plants and, and, and nature itself seems to be fading. But here, for years and years to come, um, there will be life. Uh, Midas, were you cool with my picture I sent you that one day when I asked you? Could you let me change the form of the roof to look less evil? <clears throat> Did you send it to me? Yeah, I sent it you in uh, Discord. Oh, that, that, that's what that was? <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. I'm going to turn into that and tell them that, that that's wh whether they can see it or not, that's who watches over them. Okay. Um, um, as a servant of Mistra. And friend of Tim. Okay. All right. I'll put that in my folder as I remember. All right. And then we Anything else? And be like, so where was that high demon corpse that you had killed? Is he gonna be this way? Okay. <laughs> oh. Um. Renly, can you cast? Um. How many people are in this village? Um. Midas. Like, forty-five. Yeah. Renly, can you cast um that banquet spell? Is that a spell you're, uh, you have access to? I don't think I have it prepared. Oh, wait, I do, I do, I do. Heroes Feast? Yeah, but I don't have the gem yeah, and of gold, I think. That's fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, Heroes Feast, huzzah! And I do check yeah. and not ask... For, not for us, for the people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, bonuses, yeah. But, you know, a good meal would probably do them good. I do want to check um, with the women you know, privately, if they're interested in mm -hmm. a boink fest, because I can totally do, like, you know, fertility spells and stuff to bless their people, <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> they They say that, um, they've been trying to, to not get pregnant because they're, there's no promise that they'll be able to feed their children. But with the hope that you guys have given them, you know, they look around at, at the husbands and the boyfriends and, and stuff in, in all around, and they they there's there's smile there's life that's returning so you hear some giggles and and some laughter and some flirtation going on so yeah sure so yeah hero feast and some blessings yep okay <laughs> that's great all right um out of Korea while we're walking over there to the cave Midas what mm -hmm. happened to the um refresh my memory what happened to the silver dragons that I created. Because oh. I know they got turned into real dragons by, by, what's her bucket? Um, Where did you leave them again? I forget what happened. The they fought with us in the, yeah, they fought with us in the battle, and Tiamat turned them into real dragons. Yeah, there was like a decent amount left. What? Yeah, like yeah. Fifteen or twenty. Yeah, there was like ten of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, that would have been just like forty years ago. Um. Oh, no. A lot I was of just if any you'll have to find out. Let's find out. The um, uh, most did not. Like, cause, cause, like, like a bunch of the dragon lords themselves died in that fight. And and you know, lot, lot, the huge covered... chunks of armies and stuff fell. I mean, you'll have to, you'll you have to see if you come across any of them. All right. Okay. Also, I'm um, only saying this because uh, I'm about to pass out. Yeah, we're good. I've been working uh, 16 hour days straight. Jeez. Oh my God. Yeah, it's right. a fun day. All right, so so just ending it real here, right here. Um, you guys walk up to the mine. Deimos, you remember this place? You head back. Nothing here is remotely scary at all to you anymore. You walk in and you you find the the destroyed remains of Taragalas, 
um, the a demon lord of, of decay, I believe he was, or rot or something like that. Yeah. And there are there are definitely piles of random bones that were from his corpse here. Sweet. Well, that's your memory, like... Demo. <laughs> yeah, Demos knows exactly what's going on all the time to because Demon never has Demos to pick and goes. And me and and me, Deimos and Renly, this ch this peasant chick, you're gonna have to come up with a, a stat sheet for because she's totally gonna be the first dual priest. Priestess. Yeah. All she's right. Be a priestess of 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 uh, Mistra and Tempest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. All right, All right take you. care, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'll see y'all. Yep. Awesome. Peace. All right, have a good night, guys. See you all next week. See ya. Be good to go. Yeah. Take fun. care, guys. Have a good night.